wonderful people. My name is Steven Ado and um, I want to welcome you to this particular session. You know that Semini Ushia saying there is going to be very um, educative, very enlightening, it's going to be very transformative, you know, um, because of the quality of information that I share with you, right? So as usual, um, I want to share with you something very intriguing. And today what I want to talk about is what I have actually captioned as engaging the mysteries, engaging the mysteries. Now, um, in English terms, when, when we talk about mysteries, na, the patri, um, in the patriarchy, um, um, so, um, basically we're talking about engaging these knowledge this body of knowledge that is um, readily available to the, the entire public and um, the reason i'm sharing this with you first of all is because i believe it is important that we all get to know the mysteries that surround whatever we do because to a large extent it is um, a contributing factor to how successful we become in any venture that we decide to I mean step into you know our world is actually governed by certain principles and natural laws you know and and, and whoever obeys them I mean I ends up um, I'm eating of those um, principles you know and so I believe that a lot of times we take things on face value you know we, we take things very lightly and loosely but um, I think that more to what we do daily more to what we experience daily um, um, there are aspects and certain dimensions that have not been um, thought of yet or certain dimensions that have not been engaged yet and it is such dimensions that I want to draw your attention to you know um, let me cite an example because I love drawing stories from the Bible now the Bible teaches that um, when the Israelites left the land of Egypt, they came with their own atmosphere. And it was so good and so pleasing in such a way that the, the things that went on around them really did not matter because they were carrying their own atmosphere, you know. And another story that is also very emphatic on, on um, engaging the mysteries is how Daniel opened the windows towards the direction of the temple built by Solomon. Now he prayed and his prayers were answered because of a certain system that David, uh, sorry, that Solomon had actually um, um, institutionalized in, in that particular land, you know. So even when Daniel was in slavery, even when he was there, he was, it was time for trouble I mean, when trouble arose he, he just had to engage those mysteries he had to shift I mean, we don't know the direction he had always been praying to but at this time around he had to turn and face that direction you know, because a man years ago had institutionalized such a system that whosoever honors the system will also be honored by the system and that is how it is so honor is very important we must honor certain systems and certain i mean principles so basically what i'm saying is that there are certain truths and certain um a body of mysteries that have not been articulated and um, properly and we, we have to come to that point that place of learning where we begin to ascertain these principles and and these the mysteries that govern whatever area we want to venture into um, I believe that people are not successful merely because of their vision merely because of their hard-working spirits you know I have said that failures also had dreams failures also had visions even though scripture says that where there is no vision the people perish but to think that just the fact that you have a vision does not mean that your vision will be translated into a reality you know it takes certain steps it's the, it takes certain engaging certain things you know to have these um, um visions translated into 
a reality and basically that is what we are talking about you have to build systems and these are the ancient systems these systems have been institutionalized it's a matter of discovery it's a matter of discovery and by discovering these systems you would be able to um or shy yourself into that arena where success becomes inevitable, you know. And of course, there are levels you get to and success is inevitable. It doesn't matter what you do. Once you enter that realm, you must be successful. So, I don't know which area you are into. I don't know what you do. And so I cannot, as a matter of fact be um, um pinpoint some of these realms to you you know but you can send me a dm we can talk um and probably we can make some progress from there but i just want to draw your attention to that aspect that there are certain realms there are certain atmospheres certain dimensions that when you enter into you must be successful so that is that for today thank you for staying with me Hope to see you some other time. It's a bye.